Hey there, XRP traders and investors. It's Rod with the Power Group. Welcome back on the Pursuit of Wealth. You're home for MJ Stocks, crypto assets, news and interviews. Also home to the best crypto community and the channel that was created by a retail investor for retail investors. Today is Tuesday, October 29th. Hope you're well. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the XRP price chart. I'll go over the price action, what to expect in terms of that in the days, weeks, months ahead. But as always, this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. You should never buy or sell anything based on anything that I say or write. And uh, this is for entertainment purposes only. The final dip, could this be the last dip before major price appreciation? And I do think that we have some signs showing that we could see another leg down on XRP. Bitcoin was very close to hitting, came within about a couple hundred bucks from hitting a new all-time high today. So as expected, I expected, been saying for many months now, crypto should continue to see more upside and Bitcoin will lead the way. And then eventually we'll see alt season, whenever Bitcoin hits probably somewhere around that 100K area, it'll pull back and then alts will go crazy. And then after alts go crazy, we'll see a full on bear market more than likely going to span a couple of years. And uh, got an interesting chart here on the Bitcoin dominance that I want to share everybody uh, share with everybody. Before we get to it, make sure to smash the like. If you're new, you can subscribe, take the bell, you'll be notified on any future videos or when I go live. And if you're looking for the best way to store your XRP or any cryptos, I highly recommend the Tangem cards, and they also have the new ring, which is super cool, but uh, you can use POW, code POW, and you'll get 10% off, and it also helps support the channel. So as they say, not your keys, not your crypto. If you keep it on an exchange, it's not your your private keys, so therefore it's not technically your crypto. With these, uh, this credit card looking set, you can get the three card set, that's what I have. It's only $62 with the, with the 10% off POW code, and uh, it's super easy to use, very user-friendly, economical. This is by far the best hardware wallet that I would recommend. Also, recently, Trump announced that uh, he was basically going to be eliminating income tax. Uh, you know, he's talking about all federal in <laughs> income taxes. He's talking about taxes with regards to uh, cryptocurrency and basically starting to remove the taxation on those, especially the ones that were in the United States that are that are made here in the United States. Well, not I'm in Canada, but in North America, in the United States. And it always made sense to me. Like, why would they not be behind XRP, right? XRP was created in the US and it was created by Bitcoin developers and their head, Ripple, the company, is headquartered in San Francisco, so Silicon Valley. So, you know, it makes the most sense to me that, you know, Ethereum has a lot of ties to China. Um, I can't see that, you know, getting a tax break. Bitcoin, maybe, but we still don't know who the four Satoshis are that met with Homeland Security. Uh, they even admitted to it. They said that it's four people, a group of people. Nobody will talk about it. Uh, for all we know, it could be North Korea. It could be a multitude of different uh, bad actors, right? Or, or different types of, uh, you know, like either government groups or just in general groups that otherwise wouldn't sit well with the general public. Uh, I, for one, would not be you know, sleeping well at night if I had a large amount into Bitcoin. I sold mine in 2021 when it was around 50K. And, uh, you know, even if it goes to 100K, it's only about a, you know, a, a doubling, you're only gonna double your money from there, right? So it's very risky, uh, unless you're like a Michael Saylor throwing billions and billions of dollars at it. <laughs> but uh, still risky nonetheless. And what I wanted to show with you, show you here uh, with the Bitcoin dominance chart, the chart here is showing that we are confirming a weekly bull flag. We've already confirmed it. We have our low, high, higher, low, held to 0.382 fib there at 56.93%. Then once we broke the high of the bounce at 58.61%, that confirmed it. So you take your measured move there from the low to the high, and you move it out to your 0.382 fib, and there's your measured move. It's saying about 61.68 on the dominance. So we could get as high as, you know, 62, 65%, maybe even all the way up to around 70% uh, before we really start to see Bitcoin top out. You know, Bitcoin could get to, you know, 80K, 90K, maybe even north of 100K, and then alt season should come shortly after that, right? But crypto, XRP, for example, should start to move up with it. Like, as you can see, it's up about a percent at the moment. Uh, Bitcoin on the day today, if we just take a quick look here, Bitcoin is currently up three and a half percent, and we've got some other names that are up just, a, you know, around the same. But overall, it's about three or four percent up on the day on average. Uh, but what you'll see is when Bitcoin goes towards, you know, it's 100K target, uh, you're going to see other names uh, kind of move with it, but you won't see that real alt season until after it tops out and then forms a lower high, corrects a bit. And we also are confirming this monthly cup and handle as well on Bitcoin. It's saying potentially 250K is the target. I don't think we'll get there this cycle. 
I think, you know, the 1.618, the 2.618, somewhere around that 100 to 150K is realistic. I mean, we just hit our 4.618 in the last bear market, and I can't see us doing that again. Uh, so I would be looking somewhere around this level here as a potential top. And then once we correct, then I think alt season is going to go uh, shortly after that. And we'll see it. We'll see major fireworks. Like we're going to probably see the biggest alt season that we've ever seen. So I'm going to be watching Bitcoin dominance. I'll be looking for this weekly bull flag target to be met. And like I said, we're not too far off from that now. And then, you know, maybe we see one more weekly higher low and then higher high get somewhere around to that 65 to 70 uh, 70 percent on the bitcoin dominance i don't think we're going to go much higher than that and uh, there's precedent for this in the past too with pre with uh, previous alt seasons where bitcoin you know hit that 65 percent to 70 percent and then on the dominance and then we saw full-on alt season so that's what i'm going to be looking at uh, still concerned here on the xrp chart just because you know bitcoin dominance hasn't topped out yet we're seeing continuation uh, we're getting very close we're about uh, two and a half percent away from that bull flag target on the bitcoin dominance so because of all of this the election's a week away uh, i think you know we're going to continue to trend higher after the elections into the end of the year we're probably going to see the fomc cut rates again in november uh, probably 25 basis points maybe even 50 we'll see and then that would shock the the markets as well and would be good for for bitcoin and crypto in general right so i think that's what we're going to see a little concerned about xrp on the weekly time frame uh, we're close to seeing an EMA 12 and 26 bear cross. Actually, it's happening now. Uh, like I said, Bitcoin dominance still rising. So we should still see uh, alts and specifically XRP take a backseat to Bitcoin while, they, while that continues to see its uh, continuation. And then something else is still this death cross. We're very close to seeing the death cross happen. We have the 50 day moving average at 56 cents and the 200 day at 54 cents. So we're a couple pennies away before we see those cross bearish. And we did have a daily bear flag on XRP, but we actually negated it. Uh, but if you ignore those upper wicks, you can still see that it's still very close to uh, to confirming. So in that measure, well, seeing more follow through is what I meant to say. It already confirmed. We just need ignoring the wick, uh, ignoring those wicks. And it, you know, if you do that, you can make the argument that it already confirmed. And from there, you just take your measured moves. So you go from the high to the low there, high to the low of the dump, and then move it out to your 0 0.382 fib. And do I have it on log scale at the moment? I believe I do. Yes, I do. So if you take a look at the measure move, it's saying about 44 cents. So we hit 48.6 cents. So we came within about eight and a half percent of that target. So not ruling out one more potential uh, flush down. This could be the final dip before, like I said, major price appreciation and even all time highs on XRP. We just had a stochastic and a MACD bear cross on the weekly as well. We're still well below the 10 week moving average. So again, a little concerned all about this 50 weekly and the 200 weekly when those cross bullish and the 50 closes the weekly candle above that 200, then it's going to be, uh, it's going to be go time. But as of right now, we still need to get this death cross out of the way. We still need to get this, you know, bear flag target out of the way. And we still need to get this EMA 12 and 26 bear cross follow through out of the way. And we do have our support tread line down here as well around 45 cents. So I think we could very well see 44 cents. This will be the last final dip, I think, before major price appreciation. And before we see this weekly 50 and 200 weekly moving average bull cross. Last time that happened on, on Ethereum, it went from like 600 bucks almost to 5,000. So and then on uh, XRP, last time it happened, went from about 11 cents up to $2. So just imagine what would happen this time. The only digital asset in the U.S. with legal clarity, and you have to you have to just ask yourself, like, you know, it, it, definitely the whole world's a stage. Yes, we're living in a movie. We're in a simulation. This is all planned, right? The only reason why it has legal clarity is because they're going to shut the doors on everything else, right? They're going to tax it into oblivion. And just like he said you know, they'll be pumping the, co the coins and supporting the coins that are in the U.S. that were made and uh, minted in the U.S. And what better project and coin other than XRP that was created by Bitcoin developers before Ethereum was even created. And there's even some uh, proof and uh, kind of information that's surfacing that uh, XRP was actually uh, the first cryptocurrency. So in my opinion, Bitcoin was a prototype. I think they've had the the plan for XRP all along. Bitcoin was a prototype and they knew it wasn't going to be able to scale. They knew Ethereum wouldn't be able to scale either. And it's based out of, you know, it's basically China and uh, all this regulatory capture, ETHgate. I think they're going to shut the doors on both of them. Uh, maybe they let Bitcoin live. We'll see. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, XRP, the only one with digital, not even Bitcoin has it. Dig XRP is the only one in the US right now with, with legal clarity through the court of law and uh, could be the only one in the US for a period of a couple of years, we should see stablecoin legislation. Ripple has their stablecoin coming out. So uh, IPO, ETFs coming. 
there's so much to look forward to. So I'm excited for it. If you haven't already, you can go to uh, Pow Group, follow us over there on X, handle that is at Group Pow. And then I pinned here all of my products and services that I use for XRP. So if you're looking for a great place to buy XRP, I recommend Uphold if you're in the US or abroad. If you're in Canada, I really recommend Well Simple. Uh, it's uh, very low fee. And if you use my link there, uh, you'll get $25 just for funding your account. And you can go to powmerch.ca as well. And uh, you can scroll down. I've got a bunch of new XRP swag here, a couple new hats. Uh, I got some different color options. And then uh, some XRP army. These ones are pretty sweet. And I also released some Unleashed products here as well. So you get your hat. And I really love this, uh, this t-shirt here. This one's super dope. Uh, but yeah, the hat just uh, released that today. And then XRP army shirt. You get your XRP Unleashed. And yeah, check it out. You can just go explore, check it around. You can look at all the different uh, categories, hats, filter by hats, etc. Tons of stuff on there. Really do appreciate of all, all of the support and make sure to check out Tangem as well. There'll be links for all of these in the description and in the comment section, as well as on the YouTube page. If you ever just, or, yeah, on the YouTube channel, sorry. If you just go to YouTube, uh, click here on the links and then there, there's all the links of products and services I use each and every day. They're trusted vetted links and I wouldn't share them if I didn't, use them or if I didn't, uh, you know, find value out of them. So going down it there, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Like I said, one more potential final tip, but love to see that Bitcoin's at near all time highs. Usually before XRP runs, we need Bitcoin to break to a new all time high and then all season starts. And then typically XRP is one of the last run in that all season. And I think it's going to be the best performer this cycle and potentially many, many cycles to come. All right. Thanks for joining again on the pursuit of wealth. It's Rod with Power Group. Hope you have a great night and we'll see you again on the next video.